Operators can leave location keys with location employees, such as bartenders. These people can correct common problems, like freeing stuck balls or fixing a broken rubber band. Your collections are protected by a passive lock system that automatically comes into play when the cash box door is closed. The lock system is called passive because you cannot forget to use it. This feature eliminates downtime since a location employee can access the playfield anytime day or night without having to call on the operator. In addition to the location key, Pinball 2000 still has a traditional operator's key. The operator's key is used to access the cash box in the same way it always has been. The operator has the security of knowing the money in the cash box is safe and his equipment will not go out of service due to a minor problem. The magic of PIN 2000 is made possible by a specially coated, tempered glass. The glass needs to be installed correctly in order for the system to work properly. Labels on the glass will show you the correct orientation. Typically, removal of a playfield in one of the older style pinball machines took 45 minutes to an hour, and after removal, service, and replacement, often there were still problems due to the complexity of the old system. With the Pinball 2000 system, you can remove a playfield in easily less than a minute. There are six uniquely keyed connectors in the back of the playfield. These connectors will fit any Pinball 2000 game and will be in the same place on any Pinball 2000 playfield. Removal of the playfield is simplified by use of the skid rails underneath. The skid rails also protect the playfield in handling and transport. The playfield can now be set on its bottom. This was previously impossible. If you have multiple games on location, it is a good idea to have a spare playfield back at the shop. You can easily show up at a location with a new playfield and use it to replace one which requires service. This allows you to swap a playfield in need of service and return it to the shop for repair under ideal conditions. This new, easily removable playfield allows you to rotate equipment without moving entire games. Removal of the playfield is only possible with the operator's key. When the cash box is closed, the playfield is locked down. This is the new in-cabinet service position. You can see that this is the most accessible playfield in pinball history. You no longer have to crawl halfway into the game in order to perform service. There is now full access to the playfield. If you are the operator that has access to the coin box, you don't have to use the location key to remove the playfield glass. Located to the left of the coin door opening, there is a yellow lever that allows you to remove the hand protector and the glass. The stay arm position is still available and is primarily used for minor service issues. For example, changing fuses or other repairs related to the power driver board. If a fuse needs to be changed, use the stay arm position to access the power driver board. This is the new Pinball 2000 power driver board. This board contains 22 fewer connectors than the previous board. It is held down with only two screws and uses a unique slide mounting system. The board's non-removable cover is designed so it cannot be left in the open position. The parallel port is located here. A laptop computer can be hooked up to this port so you can access powerful diagnostic tools. The new power driver board in Pinball 2000 has blown fuse detection. You will notice an LED in front of every fuse position. A dark LED indicates a blown fuse. Fuse detection is also available via the diagnostic screens. The fuse check screen will also tell you which fuse is blown and what its value is. When you replace the fuse, its LED will come on and the diagnostic screen will show it as green. 
The logic box is located in the back box. To access the logic box, use the lock located on top of the cabinet and remove the back glass. This lock uses the same key as the back door lock. Remove the logic box cover. The logic box contains four major components, the power supply, the audio amplifier card, the prism card, and a commercially available 233 megahertz PC motherboard. On the prism card are all the sounds and images of the game in masked ROM, in addition to a small amount of flash memory that holds the game's program. With a commercially available modem card installed, software can be updated directly from the Williams website at pinball.com. Also, the game can call you with audits, earning information, and alert you to service issues. By detaching five connectors, the logic box can easily be removed. The only two boards that need to be exclusively purchased from Williams are the prism card and sound card. If no dedicated service mirror is available on location, the back glass can act as a temporary service mirror by placing it under the monitor above the playfield. Some diagnostic screens include a map of the playfield. This map will help you eliminate guesswork by identifying all the game's individual components. No more searching for left upper stand-up number 16. As you toggle a switch, the map displays its exact location on the playfield. Also available for the Pinball 2000 system is a dedicated service mirror for use in the shop. For convenience, we have added the option of connecting a keyboard to Pinball 2000's logic box. Using a common computer keyboard, you can access the game's diagnostic menus and enter custom promotional messages for your locations. This is an additional feature, and the four buttons inside the coin door are also still available. There are three ways to update your Pinball 2000 software. One, you may simply plug in a Pinball 2000 update card available at your distributor. Two, install an inexpensive modem and download updates off the internet from the Williams website. And three, attach a laptop computer to the serial connector inside the coin door. Then update the software, which can be downloaded from the internet or received from your distributor. The back door of the back box is opened with the same key that lets you remove the back glass. The monitor inside is a standard 19-inch low-resolution monitor. It can be removed through the back door by disconnecting only two connectors and four screws. The monitor adjustment pots are accessible by simply removing the back glass. Pinball 2000 is a fully kittable system. Every game will be available as both a dedicated complete game platform or as a kit. A kit consists of a playfield, software, and artwork. Due to the ease of playfield removal, rotation of equipment with the Pinball 2000 system has never been easier. You no longer have to physically move machines across locations to rotate them. You need only to change out the playfield, software, and translate to have a new game. From Game Title 3 on, Pinball 2000 will be available with generic side art on the cabinets. Specific game decals will also be available. Hey man, come on, get your four heads out of the way. I can't see the movie. Hey, E.T., phone home some other time, huh? Turn your cellular off. I'm trying to watch the movie. Well, that about covers it. We've shown you some of what is new to the Pinball 2000 system and how to perform some basic service procedures to the game. If you have more specific questions, refer to the owner's manual that comes with each game.